<laughs> hey guys welcome back to this channel we hope you have a wonderful day in today's video we're going to talk about how we manage to turn ourselves around from minus one one million dollars 1 1.2 million dollars that too is quite important it's two hundred thousand dollars all right yeah. 1.2 million so in debt at one stage of our life mm. um, in our journey to this financial freedom we were racking up lots and lots of debt um, to give you guys a breakdown of it, um, it was all pretty much on property. Um, seven years ago. Seven years ago. So, you want to give them a little bit of background? Seven years ago, we went to a seminar. Yep. It's an Australian seminar about financial freedom. So, um, I think, yeah, that, that guy kind of promoting get a lot of debt, mm -hmm. acquired debt to get wealthy. So, we were on that at that time we were at our late 20s we were eager biba just trying to get a lot of properties, properties. <laughs> yeah because we were we were full-time only two of us no kids that's why we can um get quite a lot of loans correct so when yeah the when, journey when we started i already got one and yeah. then i was i think three hundred seventy thousand dollars in in that in a mortgage in the mortgage okay. at that time and then i met you all right yeah and then on. we draw the equity apparently <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault my property, so. <laughs> anyway so at first we started with um one property i think i bought it for at 410 and then get a loan for 360 or 370. Mm -hmm. and we join the seminar okay get more debt we draw equity. the the most easiest concept with a lot of seminars the one that we've seen mm. is creating wealth using property creating wealth using debt creating wealth but you gotta dig yourself um with a lot of mortgage and debt and then stuck in your career forever. stuck in your career um mm. using i guess tax benefits yes well i think there's one point they you stuck in there maybe for seven to ten years that's what oh, they yeah. normally promote seven to ten years or and less. then you keep doing again the same just keep buying redraw buy redraw buy redraw and as long as the bank is willing to finance you you keep doing the same and then once the property market go up you sell some of them mm -hmm. and pay off the others then you get out of your rat race yeah well and then looking fast forward now where we are mm -hmm. looking back it's not a good strategy <laughs> well not for, not for us not not for us <laughs> so. because that time we you know we were young we didn't mm -hmm. understand we didn't know okay we're going to start a family we're going to have kids we didn't know that one of us will be out of the job permanently yeah permanently <laughs> anyway and then um yeah we just acquired too much debt what happened is we got one property we drew the we drew equity, equity to bought another second. one yeah just pay 5% at that time we still yeah I, I think now it's back 5% I think so I don't know we pay then, 5% and then another year we uh, we, we saved both, up yeah and then we saved up quite good decent deposit we pay 20% for that property mm -hmm. and then a few months later we bought another one just by 5% because it's at the end of that peak boom yeah it was 2015 easy, easy, easy financing yes <laughs> yeah. so. anyway at the end of that pro that that property purchasing yeah. period we were in 1.2 million in debt in property we were we didn't have any we still didn't have any um credit card loan or personal loan no all of them just on property yeah 1.2 mil and then once we got the last property i was pregnant we i was like six or seven months pregnant anyway yes. and then we stuck yeah our lender even tell us you guys if you want to get a loan you might want to do it now because mm. once the baby come out you can't you would not be able to get a loan anymore yeah. like okay so we push for the uh, the fourth one let's say yeah um and then there, she was right like the, the, the broker was crying yeah. and we, and then the baby came out and we like, go back to work <laughs> life has changed since then so mm -hmm. as a whole i think within under two years we accumulate uh four properties yes with a debt load of 1.2 million dollars yeah yeah and mind you that's just the loan that's not including the 
maintenance of oh, the yeah. property. Mm. For example, your water, your Council. strata, council, insurance. insurance, everything else on top of the repayment. A vacancy. Vacancy, yeah, yeah. breaking down. Well, all these loans are investment properties. So, yeah. so we were leveraging quite a lot to yeah. the max, uh, 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 our capacity. capacity. Yeah. Um, would you ever do it again? No, if I know <laughs> that I'm going to have kids now. I didn't know it, you know? Yeah. Everyone's in that property strategy game if it's the FOMO moment. Like, yeah. Oh. And you know, once we got our fourth property, we're like, oh, we got four properties. We're like, we, we, we're so proud of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And now, uh oh. <laughs> There's a certain point where uh, I guess, you know, we had a lot of surpluses where we had like emergency fund. Yeah. Um, the concept of it is like, okay, we hold this for property mm. within 12 months, you going back to work, we mm. put our child to a uh, daycare. daycare. So you, we're not going to be sucking up with all of this saving account, let's say emergency fund. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out <laughs> yeah. because life being, well, life as it is, it's always going to throw you a curveball. Um, we were, um, well, we're expecting our second child. We were. No, we are. What are you saying? We we are we are. We were. We were, <laughs> we were expecting. <laughs> Excuse me. We already have yeah. the second, and she's turning five. Yeah. Well, at that time, yeah. like you're supposed to be going I, back to work. I was on maternity leave, and then I felt pregnant again. Yeah. So well, yes. Okay. Go go with the flow. It, go with the well, flow. it is life. Give us challenge. That's right. So that's <laughs> that side. And when that happened, I realized that. Our bank account is getting lower yeah, and lower draining. and lower, and it got up to the stage like I, I don't even know which bill I'm supposed to be mm. paying because we were borrowing too much. Yeah, we were really stressful. You were stressful with the money because Very. you work, you didn't spend much time with us, and I was at home mm -hmm. by myself with two babies. Yeah. yeah, and looking at this, like this is not what property investor mm. is supposed to feel like. Yeah. Nobody so, tell you this yeah. until you get there. Nobody going to tell you, hey, this is not working out. In fact, it was a little bit hard for me to convince you that yeah. this is not working out. It, um, hey, emotional attached. Yeah. yeah. It was emotionally draining, uh, emotional attachment and financially draining mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah, I didn't want to let go at all. So, anyway, how we changed it? So from $1.2 million, mm. Fast forward seven years later. Well, say seven, yeah, six yeah, years, six, seven six, years, six, seven, yeah. yep, yep. So now we are up to the other way around where our net worth is actually about $500,000 just on the property. Yeah. Okay. Is that well, how? Yeah, I, around that, no. So we were in debt for 1.2 mil, but yep. then now we're in debt for 500,000. Yeah. So our um, net, yeah, net worth about 500, around that, sorry. <laughs> oh, just Give over, I think 600 because so how we did it was yep. uh, we saw one of the property. So property number one. The one I bought originally yep. because that one is just not giving, it, it's not a good performer. No, yeah, that's quite yeah, It's not a really good performer. So we sold it and then use um, the payout, just pay off one, the other property and then pay a bit more extra from our money. So no no on the so we had the four properties right so the yes. first property yeah we have to sell so that. yeah we sold it the profit that comes from the four the first property we paid off on the fourth the last one yes that's gone yeah this one here and there's no more debt this we one pay yeah off. so yeah. because of this because it was in the middle of the city and no more debt gone. yeah and this one here no more debt yeah this one here I was able to turn it around mm. to from a negative gearing. To that cost me. Uh, that cost me. I don't know, three hundred. Yeah, three hundred dollars. Yeah, per week, as I mean. And then somehow we I was able to change that to plus four or seven hundred dollars per mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. So that's giving us an income of roughly about three hundred dollars per week. Four hundred dollars per week. Okay, so that's that one. This one here, we I did the same the same strategy mm. with the uh, the third property, the same tra strategy as the second one. Yeah. Yeah, and yep. that's bringing us roughly about... 150. 150. See, I'm the number person who doesn't know anything. 150. <laughs> there you go. Week. Now, on this top of off? that, because mm -hmm. there was a, a somehow there's an extra 
um, bonus, let's say, extra capital. Every single capital that we go to, we sunk it into the fourth property. Now this one is in debt free. Yes, There's we'll no pay mortgage. off that mortgage. So we've got no mortgage and now but effectively- But within uh, our net income from yeah, 320 a week? About $300 after okay, $300. Say, $300 um, per week. Mm. So that's how we did it. So it works for us, it might not be working for you. Mm. So this is just our way to turn it around from, it was a negatively gearing, it was actually costing me money. It was at one stage it was costing I don't know, maybe about $600 per week or something just to hold the whole entire floor yeah. before everything else. Mm. Um, so imagine that if you're, you know, great that you have a multiple property, but mm. can you really hold it? Yeah. Can you actually make the repayment? Mm. Do you work seven days a week? Because that's what I had to do. Mm. It wasn't fun. Whereas now it's the other way around where now every mm. single one of those is positively geared. Yeah, and we only have two of them that... Yeah only for under five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars in debt so and they investment they positive positively geared but i'm sure a lot of people because of tax return tax mm-hmm. benefit you shouldn't paying off but our goal is to pay it off as soon as we can we'll pay off the first one yeah the, the, yeah the biggest amount now I'd yeah say. the biggest that first our biggest tackle and yeah. then after the next one yeah so that's our journey we so went. then we will receive like huge passive income yeah. from them. Because I don't have to share my my, my profit say, my income with the bank. With the bank, which is what we're yeah. doing at the moment. Let's mm. say um entering on one of them, yeah. Mm. We're receiving let's say seven hundred dollars per week. Um the mortgage repayment, let's say four or three. I think three. if we paid off everything we'll we'll receive extra six hundred per week. Yeah. Around that. So I would rather risk keep that six hundred dollars instead mm. of sharing it with the bank. Yeah, I mean that's how I see it. Mm-hmm. Because why would you want to give it to someone else if you can keep it? Yes, yeah, that's our extra. that's our mentality now. Yeah, um, you know, with a lot of um, property guru out there might be thinking, oh, you know, you you're wasting it, you this mm. and that, and they get, yeah, that's great, that's working for you, but this is working for me. Yeah, mentally, <laughs> it's not working for us. <laughs> we tried. So um, there's bound to be a way. Um, if you guys like this type of content, do let me know because um, I don't know if you guys like to know about the property side. Yep. But so far, it's been pretty good journey. Yeah, it was a bit stressful at the beginning, but it's just challenge, and you have to find a solution to fix it. If you guys are a couple, definitely need to sit down and read how your money work, yeah. the ins and out of your money. Because mm-hmm. um, Yeah, that's really important. Yeah, that's my learning curve because mm. you know, I, I did have to sit down in the middle of the night by myself to mm. figure, figure out, out what, what is going on, what happened here, um, how come I have to work seven days a week, how come this feels like it never ends. Mm. That's how I felt, um, you know, but you need to sit down because the both of you have to work together. Yep. And then if you're single? You work it out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go talk to your friend, I think, with sim- same mindset. I think it's the hardest thing. Not many people willing to open up. I want to talk about that. Yeah, because a lot of people will only see the good side of property investing. Mm. That's all that I see. I've seen like a lot of, um, I guess, even Facebook feed mm. or advertisement, um, you know, always showing these, you know, gold and glory passive income on property um you can you know double your income quit retire very quickly and all that jazz i'm Um, sure you can i'm sure yeah maybe maybe the recipe it works for them yeah Yeah. our recipe might works for us yeah works for us i mean if you want to get in contact with us i do leave the uh, uh information on the description how you get in touch with us yep anyway that's just our two cent hope that helped don't forget to subscribe (laughs) Comment. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.